died and others had died, we would have had nobody at all who was close to Prophet Muhammad Sallam in his household to tell us, to give us through how Prophet Muhammad Sallam was at his home. Because through Aisha radiallahu anha, we have, we got most of the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad Sallam with regards to him, how he was at home. And who else could do it better than his own wife? So we know now, and we know very important aspects in Islam, which are so-called taboo for certain Muslims, but not in Islam. We know his sex life, which is important for the Muslims. There is no taboo in Islam, by the way. We know his sex life. We know what you have to do before you, you, you sleep with your wife. You know how you have to treat your wife because of him doing the same way. No, he was saying, for example, Rasulullah and this is again given through, through Aisha, she would say that he would never approach her like a beast, like an animal. What does it mean? Okay, just, you know, the foreplay. So this is something which is sexually related. This is something that you go nowadays, you go and talk to, to your friends about, right? But this is part of Islam. You know, how you treat your wife. Don't be an animal, but have foreplay with her. This is something we know through Aisha radiallahu Who else would tell us that? Okay? So, it's part of Islam, guys. Yes, brother. Look, we, like any community, there's like a lot of other questions, really. Like any community, and indeed, you said something very true. I have traveled and lived a lot in different parts of the world, and I have decided to settle here, at least for the upcoming years. We don't know exactly, but we are here now. And we came to this country in 2001. I came in 1999. I was in London and took my family with me in 2001 from Holland. Okay, my wife was in Holland. We lived there for a while. And we decided to move to the UK simply because, and I praise this country for many reasons. First of all, I think it's one of the most tolerant countries in the world. I think that we have, I'm careful not to say that, but too many rights. Oh, what did I say now? Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna explain this now. Many of our Muslims here do not appreciate the rights that we have. That's why I'm saying too many rights. But I am very grateful that we have these rights we have here, that we don't have in Germany, we don't have in Holland, we don't have in France, definitely not, we don't have them in Italy and nowhere else within Europe. So for that reason, I keep saying, and to our people here, the Muslims, the Muslim community in this country, we have to finally appreciate, and know, because we know, I know people who have never been outside of here, and they cr keep criticizing this country, and, you know, they're Islamophobic and this and that and that. Yes, after September 11, things have changed very much. But still, what we're doing here, if we would do something like this in Germany, I would most probably end up in jail at the end of the day. Okay? In France, impossible to set up something like that. Impossible. There are no ISOCs. You know, I was told by a brother who went to, you know, exchange program to go to France. And they, there was no prayer room in France, of course, the universities. So these two started praying in the hallway. And then some Muslims passed by and they saw them and started crying. I said, why are you crying? Eh? I was just praying. I said, unbelievable that you have the strength. We wouldn't dare doing that here. We wouldn't dare doing that here in France. Whereas in this country, in this country, we have the right to have ISOCs, we have the right to have prayer rooms, we have the right to have mosques, we have the right to have... We have Muslim minority in Greece and in, in the Balkan countries, you know, which are indigenous people, and we still have problems in these countries. What about this country, which are originally not from here? So, honestly, we as Muslims have to learn to appreciate what we have here and work with it, okay? What is Islam is Islam. Okay, just clear, there's a clear, just make clear that you have a border. That's my border. That's my framework I'm, I work in. That's what I do as a Muslim. But furthermore, I respect you and I want you to respect me also. But I'm not going to cross the border for you just because you're so nice to me. Okay, just to make this clear. 
I mean, what is Islam is Islam, right? Up to there. But you cannot expect me now suddenly to start eating whatever you want me to eat because then you get insulted. That's, that's, that's sorry, you know, but that's how it is, you know? That's my framework and that's your framework. And you know what? People start respecting you, maybe not the first time, but they start respecting you later more because you show principles. You show something that many people nowadays don't have. So that's all I would like to say about the Muslim community in this country. Uh, many do the right thing, many do the wrong thing. That's it. So I'm hoping that um, there will be many people who will do the right thing, inshallah, in the future. Yes, sir. I was going to say, in your opinion, what, why should someone follow Islam? And um, how, can, how can we convince people Islam is a religion for God? Uh, the first question was what? Um, um, why should someone follow Islam, in your opinion? In my opinion? Yeah, why yeah. should someone follow Islam, in my opinion? The best reason would be that you follow your creator. You have a creator who has created you. Okay, and the connection between the creator and the creation is the laws of Islam, are the laws of Islam. That's why you should follow Islam, because there is a creator who told you that that's what he wants from you. Okay? Now, with regards to, uh, what was the second question? How can you convince people who are not Muslim to follow Islam? You don't convince anyone. It's not our job. Our job is not to convince people. That's Allah's job. Allah says in the Quran that He's the one who has whole, He's holding the hearts in His hand. He's the one who turns His heart. It's not, it's not my job to convince anybody here that Islam is the truth. I'm just telling them that I have figured out that it's the truth. Now, if they want to go on with basis of this knowledge that they have, that's fine for them. But it's not my responsibility. Nobody is my responsibility except my own family. So it's not my job to convince anyone. Now is it yours. Yes, bro. Didn't I mention the story of the prayer? The prayer, the salah. The salah. I saw, I saw people making salah. I saw them going up and down the prayer. And when I saw the prayer, it somehow, somehow I find it fascinating. And I started learning how to pray. And that made me realize that this is the prayer that Isa, Jesus, Isa alayhi salam was praying this prayer. And if you even watch movies nowadays and you see him putting his face on the ground, you see that this is the prayer, which is the prayer accepted in, in, in the face of Allah. Okay, he was praying to God the same way we were pray we are praying as Muslims. So when I saw that, and I look and I really watched movies later after that, I was not a religious person. I told you, not at all. My religion was something else. I don't think I should tell you that if you want to ask me after that. But my religion was something else at the time. It was not religion. Okay, so so my religion was something else. So I was not interested in religion. But when I discovered what Islam, the sweetness of Islam. The prayer, the connection to God. I, you know, I, I, I started crying sometimes. I was crying. <clears throat> so it, it, the, con the connection, and that's why sometimes I don't understand, you know, and it's a very, very important point here now. Sometimes I don't understand how there can be Muslims who don't pray. You know, because there is no connection anymore. This connection is interrupted between God and you. There is no connection anymore. How can you then claim to follow God if you don't have this connection? So the prayer was the one that actually pushed me towards Islam.